everyone and welcome back to another one of our calendar videos. Today I'm joined here with Tim. Hello. Very special video as we are showing off um, the progress that Tim and a few other builders have made on the Lake Town map. Yeah. Now, We're working on Askarov for a while. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I haven't had any um, contribution to this map personally, but a lot of the other builders on the um, Empire War Network have been working on it. Um, Tim's been the lead builder. Um, and Tim's just going to show me around today. Uh, obviously, the reason that we decided to bring this out today was because yesterday, uh, for me, um, the, the new Hobbit movie, Battle of the Five Armies, came out. And, I mean, I have to say, it was an amazing film. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't get it out on release day, but uh, we've got the video coming out today. So hopefully you'll enjoy it, and hopefully you'll like the map. So, yep. um, so as you can see, this is just a simple gatehouse, which is... Uh, the watch watch post on uh, before the bridge. There wasn't really a lot of guards using this, so there's a little bit of interior in here. Um, we basically have interior on most of the houses we made right now, but we haven't really finished everything yet. We hope to release the map somewhere this month. But uh, talking actually drawn a map of all of Lake Town, with including every single house which we use to map this out. So every so we have exactly the same amount of houses talking described and we have them on the exact same position though he didn't really add wind lances to it seeing Peter Jackson just made that for the movie so we just added those in ourselves so we'll have a little um, I have the image show on the screen somewhere around here we'll see about that okay um, sorry Tim I've, I've lost you um, I don't know where you are anymore I decided to fly over I'm still at the gates you're still at like, the gate alright I'll come back I'll come meet you Right, so, um, where to next? So we kept a very basic design for the bridge. We just used the uh, clips from the movie to just make it a flat, straight bridge with some pillars on it to uh, hold torches. Then we have the actual gatehouse here, which it can't really close, but uh, it's just used to uh, to watch, and there were guards here guarding that tower. Uh, obviously, like you said, like you saw in the movie that weren't really active seeing the orcs just got through without any problems but they were supposed to like before before Smaug attacked in the first time so before the Battle of Five Armies movie this was really active but now after Smaug burned it down and it's probably about to burn it down again which, yeah. I, which I'll leave to you because you probably haven't seen the movie yet um, well, well exactly we don't really want to spoil anything yeah. I haven't read the books or seen the movies yet um, still I uh, don't want to give anything away about what happens. You, you might know already, but if yeah. not, it is pretty obvious. But well, but well, uh, you'll see about that. And so this guardhouse is still very, very effective because people have to go through here if they want to enter the city. And there's a little square up here with some, just some supplies. We got this barrel design done, which was I think done by uh, Fuji or Ice Cream, which is basically a slab from different wood types with. Um, with trapdoors all around it, so you can actually go in there, but they're not as high as the actual players. That's so we, pretty cool. I feel so like we, a dwarf just going down a river in a barrel. Yeah. <laughs> so, we, so we used those around here. We kept some here. We even have some floating here. Like we wanted to keep the parkour side on it, like barred parkour. Like if you see this, like uh, if you look at me now. Where, where, where you going? Where you, oh yeah. Yeah. You can actually parkour over this. You can parkour on the floating barrels in a buckle back on that if you get and you can just go here and you have a little shortcut so we try to add more of those around the map but we haven't really done a lot that's gonna be really cool on the Empire War server yeah so we got these icicles around the roofs and the house design was actually done by Max uh, Max 88 so that's really uh, a really good design really simple but also really detailed and here we have the primary wind lance tower which mm -hmm. has the not exactly the wind lance uh, you saw in the Battle of uh, in the Desolation of Smaug movie, because um, because uh, in the in the movie you only saw one of the wind lances, and that one was really near to Bard's house. So we decided to add like two or three of them in the map to make sure there's one near Bard's house and one here and one on the other end of the city. This is the only one we actually already made. So if you so fire my my black arrows, from yeah, there. if you fire your black arrow from there, <laughs> kill the dragon smile if possible. Um, and we just 
repeated this design all over. We got some ba nice balconies, some uh, cranes with supplies down here. Um, you could obviously lay a lot of uh, boats harbour here. Uh, you go over this bridge and there's some more docks here, more boats, more barrels. Uh, this is supposed to be some kind of, not really town hall, more like a church. Uh, but it's not finished on the inside, like the interior still being worked on. Yeah, I mean, it's and all the, uh, Yeah, so we tried to add in more of those towers so you could actually get on the roofs using stairs. But we haven't really done that on uh, most of them because the interior of most houses isn't done yet. Like, it is how you can enter, you can see the tower, but you can't go up yet, seeing there is no stairs. So it's uh, pretty useless now, but when the map is done, you will be able to climb every one of those towers and go to the roofs or fire arrows at incoming enemies mm. or dragons. Yeah, something we started doing on all of our maps is making sure every building is as detailed in the inside as in the outside. Um, as you might have noticed from our previous maps, the Skilly Earth and, uh, well, yeah, all I can think of is the Skilly yeah. <laughs> Um, we're going to make that a, a new thing, um, I mean, our first map, Minas Tirith, uh, the interior, I have to say it sucked, and I can say that because I made it, so, um, uh, I mean, all the new maps, they've got pr they've got lovely interior, I have to say, uh, we've really um, upped our game a lot. Yeah, uh, it's a really important part of building maps, is doing the interior, even though it's not often few, it's, it's just something really important for if you use the map more often. Yeah. And there's a couple of bridges like this one here, and some uh, boats they harbor inside the city or town, as you may call it. But and they can actually, we did some measuring, checking if they could go down here. And this one isn't the best example, seeing this one probably can't escape. <laughs> but there is quite a couple of them, like um. Yeah, that might one might lose its top. Might yeah. Scrape um the sail a little bit. Yeah, but there there is a lot of them that can actually go back to the sea if they were actual boats. Uh, and, well, here you see a lot of marked out buildings that aren't done yet. Yeah, we won't look here. Yeah, and just if you fly up and you watch down, you can see all the red bars. And, like, every red dot is, like, a house. And the really big one you can see here, just over the drawbridge, is going to be the town hall. But that's still work in progress, and there's a lot of signs marking what's going to be where and stuff, and some others people added, which I didn't even know about. But um, the drawbridge, of course, very well designed. I think I did that all max, uh, and some some of those green things, which will be boats eventually when everything's done, just like we had here. Um, we got another tower up here. Whereabouts are you? I've lost you again. Uh, yeah, right by the tower. Your drawbridge. Oh, here we go. Yeah. So there's another one you can't enter yet because the stairs aren't done. Uh, it's a really nice tower, like giving a good view over the city, and you can actually view the windlass from here. Mm. We've got a market here. Yeah, we got some smaller boats in the harbor, and um, any markers made by Only God. You can probably see by the beautiful detail on it. Oh, lovely. Uh, is there anywhere I can buy a black arrow from? Um, I'm afraid those got taken out of stores because people kept shooting themselves with them. Yeah, high demand. Yeah. Um, also, danger. At the bit of yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's got some more house. I think this one has an interior. Yeah, this could be a good one to show off. There may even be a toilet. Yeah, oh. there is. Toilet here. We try adding more toilets to the maps to, just to make it more realistic because oh God. you just Help. flush yourself through. Oh, <laughs> and I fell. Yeah. All right, let's close that and not open it again. Uh, so you got a nice table. We got a window behind here which looks at the wall of the next house. Yeah, a lovely view. I got a lot of chests up here to store stuff. Um, something you may notice is that we use trap chests to make many chests next to each other because you can't put four chests next to each other normally, but you can put two trap chests and two normal chests. You've alternated. Yeah, and you barely see the difference. You only see a little bit of red around the around the ledge. Um, I think it might be, is that a 
that shade difference? I don't really know. It doesn't yeah, it's barely anything. You can see some bookshelves and some uh, some chests higher up. You can see a bed, some hay stored in. You can a lovely view from here up the yeah, a much better view square. Than down below. Even though it does look towards some of the unfinished houses, but I'll of course be finished. Uh, so go back out. And there's like a chimney on each of these houses and it leads down to a furnace. You can see all the smoke and snow coming off which gives a really nice uh, environment around the map. Yeah. More barrels here, some closed ones as well. Got a, um, got a dwarf inside it. Yeah, maybe. We'll leave that to you to decide. And some <laughs> higher barrels here, but you can't actually go in there because the... You can't jump high enough. Because of the slabs. No, no, even if you could, you couldn't. Wait. You can go in there. Yeah, you can park up. Um. Uh, it is an unfinished market, I think. I think someone's still working on that. Maybe only gold. You can see another bridge. We can really well see that it's made for the boats to get through. As well as these draw bridges again. Same designs on the other side. And we, um. We got one of the builders just flying around here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and this is actually a special location. This is where Bard enters the city. I mean, as soon as he gets the dwarves, he just goes through here and he shows his papers here. And then Alfred tells him to throw down the bar barrels and they have discussion and eventually doesn't throw them down. So the dwarves don't get discovered. Uh, and then Percy, a friend of him, tells tells him to raise the gate. And this is the gate they raise. And they go through here towards Bard's house, the other side. Awesome. Um, some more balconies, of course. More boats. Uh, loads of chimneys. Uh, another tower here. Bigger one. You can actually get up here, and there's a sign saying "nice view." I imagine that doesn't count when smiles coming in. <laughs> but um, no, it's called Carlin's Watchtower, so it's probably made by him. Uh, one of the builders. And you can just get down here. Uh, another red house, this one is still to be built. A uh, little market here. Maybe a stable. I think it's a market because horses aren't really useful in here. No, don't see any horses. We've got a splash potion. Oh, a splash potion. Oh, it's just a splash potion. Hmm, I've poison. That's mm. not good. We also, uh, recently when re-watching the Desolation of Smaug, I noticed that there was a giant statue of the Master of Lake Town. So we also have to put that in somewhere. But we didn't really think of that yet. Will probably be someone near to the to where Bane hides the Black Arrow because he because that's what he what he used to notify the location he uh, put it in. So you can see some more walkways here, more houses, all yet to be finished. Oh, oh, what's going on there? Oh yeah, he's that's actually something we did for the uh, for the roof. Like we we put a layer on it of like thirty percent air, thirty percent gravel, and thirty percent sand, and those layers fall down. Then we replace the sand with snow and uh, gravel with slabs, like you can see here. Perfect demonstration, and it looks like a nice house. Um, and these diamond blocks are just to show what type of house is, like bakery here, market, uh, and other markets. I'm a bit disconcerned about the TNT. Mm, <laughs> not sure what he did there. Um, so if we continue, you just see more houses here, more and more red spots, some boats still being worked on, signs. Um, this sign is very helpful. Oh, is that going to be a house? Doubt it. <laughs> and, oh, another bridge, this is a really good looking one. And as you can see, those boats will be able to go through there. And the long lake isn't as big as in the movie, but it is the same size like in the in the books and in the animation version of the Hobbit. The the city almost reaches to the end of the lake, so this is pretty much the same size it should be. Um, and there'll be a bigger docks down here at the blue spot, but we still have to map that out and work on that. Oh, having a little bit of lag. I don't know what he's doing now. <laughs> Well, I think that's everything there was to show for now. Awesome. Like the map, map's not done yet, but it will be as soon as possible. Yeah, well, thank you very much for showing me around. Um, Welcome. And I can't wait until we have this map on release. Thank you for watching.
Hi.